Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video on Skyrim skills. And today we're an analyzing, sorry, we're analysing Restoration. Now, Restoration, I think in Oblivion was, was okay. It wasn't really my cup of tea. Um, the big thing that it, you could do was you could pretty much take any character and buff what they did because you could fortify their skills, which I think is pretty cool. But Restoration actually has some really cool abilities in Skyrim that I think are it just adds to the skill. So let me explain what's going on. Restoration's got a bunch of paths. The main one is, of course, making all the spells cost half as much. And I think that's perfectly normal for a restoration skill set because maybe you just don't have any journeyman skills right now or spells right now. You don't want to deal with it, you know? There's also dual casting, which is dual casting, right? Every magic set has this. The real meat of it comes with the side abilities. So first of all, it adds magic regeneration. You can buff up your magic regeneration. Which, if you think about it, makes sense for restoration. Is it's the it's the regeneration. It restores stuff. So, it kind of is a cool thing where because you're healing yourself all the time. It, this is what I think of. Is of course you have this aura of magic restoration around you. Any magic character needs to buff up restoration. It's kind of like their armor, which we'll get into is the wards. There's actually a, a perk where if you're using a ward and, it, and a spell hits it, you get some of the magic. Which I think is, like, they put spell absorption in the game as a spell. I don't think, I don't think Oblivion or Morrowind, I know Oblivion didn't have this, I don't know if Morrowind had it. But I like that spell absorption is a spell now. I just, I just feel like having the Atronox sign or magical enchantments instead of an actual spell, really add to the game. There's also fighting undead, which I kind of feel like the fighting undead part should be in destruction or conjuration, but it's in restoration where you do extra fighting undead. There's also restoring stamina, which I kind of think restoring stamina should be its own spell set. That's the only thing I kind of disagree with. And that's restoration. I really like the way they did it. Restoration, I mean... I haven't found any, like, spells in the game. I don't know if they exist where you can fortify a skill. I kind of wish that those were in the game because Restoration's still all about the buffs. You know, Alteration, they could have thrown them in there too. But I like that you have Restoration and Alteration. You have two armor classes for being a mage. I really like that about restoration and alteration. I think they work well together, you know, they have their own buffs, and it just makes it more dynamic. You don't have to use restoration or alteration. You know, before it was restoration, the most you could do for yourself in Oblivion was fortify your health, which yippee, you can tank a couple hits. And where alteration was clearly the winner, where reducing 50% of all damage is way better than giving yourself 100 extra HP. Just flat out. So when it comes to restoration, now it's kind of like, okay, you have the ward, it uses up your magic, it's kind of comped by magic regen, but when you're not using restoration, it's kind of got a little bit more passive. You know, alteration is very active. Restoration is the passive part to the active part. Just like how the way I see it is heavy armor, is very passive, right? If you're heavy armor, you can stand and tank shots. Where if you're playing Skyrim and you're light armor, you kind of have to be moving around and you have to decide which shots to tank to then, you know, up yourself. I, I love that about Restoration. I think that with what they did with Restoration, really good. Really, really good. I kind of wish that with either, with Restoration or Alteration, there was skill buffs in there. I wish that there was skill buffs. Maybe Restoration had magic skill buffs, Alteration had physical skill buffs, I don't know. I just wish that there was some skill buffs in there. But overall, I think Restoration, definitely a more passive magic class to where 
even late game, if your magic is low, you can still use restoration to bump up your magic game. Or you can just use it to bump up your insane magic game to a more insane level. So that's really it for restoration, guys. I would love to know what you think about it in the comments below. This video might have been a little shorter, but it's because restoration is complicated, but it's also kind of simple at the same time. So I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream vlog, or steam it post. Or whatever I decide to make.